Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am standing outside Blind Tiger on Oxford Street. I thought it was about time we kicked off some festive shopping vlogs with a little look around Flying Tiger. It's one of my favorite stores for Christmas decorations, for reasonably priced gifts, for stocking fillers, for secret Santas. They've got all kinds of things in store. I also love their stationery too. So I thought we'd have a look. It is the 1st of November as I film this today. So I can see that the windows are looking very Christmassy. I've got the London buses flying past me. The Christmas lights are up here in Oxford Street as well and it is a beautiful November day but um, we can head in store now and have a little look around and I will show you everything that's new in store. Let's start with what's in the window. I feel like that's always a good place to start to see what's new in. I haven't seen those starlights before. We don't have prices in this section of the window so I will share prices as we go around. That's very pretty isn't it? I've heard that novelty um, ornaments are going to be very popular this year. I mean, they have been popular in previous years, but the sales have increased for the novelty ornaments. And I think Flying Tiger does really reasonable ones. Oh my goodness, look at those salt and pepper pots and the snowman ones, very cute. And yeah, we have some sweets. They have some great mugs as well. The Halloween mugs were amazing. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the Christmas mugs are like as we go in. Okay, so in this window we have these decorative mice for £2.50, that's really good, they're a good size and they remind me a little bit of the Sasson Bell ones. We also have Christmas elves, or would you call that a gonk? I did hear recently that the definition of a gonk is when it doesn't have eyes or other features apart from the little nose poking out, so there we go. Little stags for £7 and roe deers for £3.50. These are quite nice traditional looking decorations with the red and white design. Those Christmas baubles are, can I see the price? I think that's four pounds for the box there and also four pounds for a box of decorations here. I will be taking you to other shops to look at Christmas decorations including Primark Home soon which has some really nice bits in and it will be interesting to compare prices of things like this and see where it has the best value for money. Okay, let's take a look inside. So we have the kind of stocking filler slash gift ideas as soon as you come into the store. A acoustic accordion for £25. I feel like that could be a really fun gift but also potentially drive you bonkers depending on who you gave it to. We also have this little drum kit for £15. A musical suitcase for £12. So in here we have all kinds of different instruments. And then we have this little build your own racing car for 12 pounds. This looks quite cool. I know lots of kids absolutely love fire engines. This is a build your own fire engine for 15 pounds. We have one of these grabbers. Oh wow, I think kids would absolutely love that. That is 35 pounds. So a bit steeper on the price point for a gift, I guess, but really really sweet grabs little um soft toys in there and you can buy the little um cuddly friends to go inside it for one pound each they have these piggy banks these are soft piggy banks and they're also elephants not piggies although it does look like they do have a pig version for 12 pounds each i've never seen a soft piggy bank before they have these little cake tins for three pounds the christmas tree design and then we have a cake stand with dome for £13 in the shape of a Christmas pudding. So random in here, isn't it? We have these little snowman mugs with lids for £6 each. And then we also have these cookie jars. These ones are £14 each. We have a Santa design and also a snowman design. I like the little um, stick arms on that. I think he's really cute. And then we have loads and loads of decorations around here. These hanging ones with the mice on are very, very sweet. Those are five pounds. That is so cute, isn't it? I feel like my kittens would go bonkers for that and they wouldn't be on there for very long. But I think that's very sweet. I think that'd look really nice hanging from a mantle. And you also have these little figures on ladders as well. Those are five pounds each. These stockings in here, that's quite a nice traditional design. And that one is six pounds. Quite like the Fair Isle 
knit design of that one. This is a bit of a throwback. They have these straw decorations. I remember seeing smaller ones of these and these are four pounds each. And they also have these little tea light holders with the little propeller at the top. So the little angels spin around and that's four pounds 50. So as we are on Oxford Street, you may notice it's quite noisy, quite busy in the store and also the music's quite loud. So I hope the audio is okay and that you can hear my descriptions okay with everything. These berry wreaths they've always had in here, they're six pounds each and I think they're really effective. You just have to be really careful with them because if they get damaged, the um, polystyrene white bits shows through. So you kind of have to just be really careful with the berries on those. Let's pop that one back it wanted to jump out at us and then we have a felt one for five pounds well, i'm not feeling that one as much i feel like that's something you could definitely diy they have these christmas trees in store which are quite a good height and those are 17 pounds each i have to see what it's like when it's undone but the um, branches on that are quite realistic feels like nice quality i think that's quite a good one for that price and quite a decent height too they have loads and loads of string lights for £4.50. I feel like these are definitely cheaper in the pound shop. I think in there they're probably about £2 now. Um, all battery operated, but they're nice designs. They have um, the mirrorable ones up there as well for £10. Onto the novelty decorations, they have absolutely loads. They have a popcorn machine. I really like this rainbow glitter ball. These are all £3 each by the looks of things. I feel like these can be quite fun gift ideas as well. We have a glow beer, a pint or a beer of some sort, Prosecco bottle, gin bottle, lots of different drinks. Oh, they also have the aubergine. So some emojis are slipping in and also the broccoli, maybe for somebody that you know that's quite healthy. What's this one? I think that's a little perfume bottle. Is that a perfume bottle or a genie lamp? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I think it's an old fashioned perfume bottle, the kind that you squeeze. We also have some Wellington boots. Oh, the little gloves are cool. I mean, these could be potentially mittens for my little mittens. I like the greenhouse and I think that's a great price for three pounds. I think there's a lot of detail on that one. Who do we know that needs to take a chill pill? I feel like I do when I'm on Oxford Street. These are interesting. Are those false teeth? Rubik's cube. We also have a crossword here and a golf ball. Somebody loves fishing. I mean, we really have got it all going on here. I'm not sure what this is either. Oh, that's a baguette. <laughs> that's a baguette in a brown paper bag, a hot dog. We also have a croissant covered in sprinkles. We have a chocolate bar. Loads and loads of different choices here. Cheeses as well. All oh, these houses are quite nice. And then some slightly more traditional ones, the classic red car with the Christmas tree on the top candy floss and a coffee maker they have some children's toys here it looks like wooden ones like things for imaginary play which i think is always good fun um little bananas that you can kind of chop and velcro back together and fruits for one pound fifty that's good isn't it then we have like play hamburgers if you've got a kid that likes to make believe and play shops or cafes little cakes that you can slice really sweet little tea sets I think this is really cute stuff and the prices seem good. I did see as well they had wooden toys in Lidl recently, so it might be worth looking in there if you are interested in wooden toys for children. Got a bow and arrow set, a shield. This is all kind of polyboard or polystyrene. So obviously the kids can play with those without hurting each other. Five pounds each for the swords. And we have some random games, so things like spin the bottle, kind of secret Santa vibes, a shot spinner a party pong dance for five pounds so again perfect secret sandwich if you want like a novelty gift and your budget is a fiver we have a drinking game for 10 pounds that looks like jenga so it's like stacking up the blocks that could be quite good fun and then we have a portable cup <laughs> the random stuff you see in here but i want to show you everything they have loads of crafts in store nice christmas stickers nice designs on those for two pounds each the decorative tapes are four pounds. I have these and they're really good, but they're not that sticky. So they look really nice, but they, they're not great at sticking down um, presents if you're gift wrapping. They have these wood pieces for two pounds, which you can use as gift tags. 
or for crafting, different things. You also have a little DIY bauble here you can pop a photo in. Could be a very sweet gift for somebody. Um, these stampers, I actually have those and I've used them loads on brown paper just to give them a little bit of a snowflake design. And then lots of little craft. These would be quite nice stocking fillers as well. And then we have a magic water book. I think this is where you put the water on and it colors it in. So that could be a nice one for children on uh, journeys. You know, if you're taking the kids on the train or something like that, maybe to keep them occupied, just using water so it's not making loads of a mess. And then we have these little crafting sets of pom-poms and pipe cleaners to make some festive things with for three pounds 50. And these foam figures are three pounds 50 as well. Looks like something that children might enjoy doing. Well, they've got some calendars down here. So we have a family planner for four pounds with the different uh, names you can pop on and schedule it that way. And then a monthly one here as well, which has um, enough for three people. Or if it was just for yourself, you could put different categories like work, um, you know, social life, whatever, hobbies, that kind of thing for three pounds. Quite a nice chunky calendar up here for five pounds as well. Just a really simple, um, you know, grid system on it. I think this is a really good price for three pounds. The detail on that, and it's so sweet. You just pop a little candle in there. Look at him. I'm very tempted to get him. We have this basket with um, antlers, although it looks like, has he lost one? He's just flopped. <laughs> Those are £4.50. That would be nice for a um, kid's bedroom, wouldn't it, for storage. We have these gingerbread people, cuddly cushions, for £8. We also have little snow globes. Those are £3 each. Very small. And a little elf home, so you can stick these maybe on a skirting board or on a tree anywhere you like. Very sweet, £3.50. This Santa mail tin, decorative letterbox, is £3.50. I like these trees. They've had these in store before and I think they're really sweet. And also they have these um, little Christmas trains as well this year. But I do like these with the little um, decorations. And that is uh, £10. I haven't seen this before. This is a glowing gingerbread house for £10. So I'm guessing that's, yeah, battery operated and that would light up. That's quite sweet. I do like a little house ornament <laughs> at Christmas time. Oh, that's different. That could look really stylish, couldn't it? For four pounds, kind of like if you're going for like a more modern Christmas theme. I like these too, if you're going for the gold look. Three pounds for those. They also have um, dinner candles as well as the tea lights. Very H&M home. More of the little roe deers here. And we have things for a Christmas village. So we have a popcorn wagon that lights up for £20. And also this really sweet, oh, that is so nice. It's a little greenhouse with a lamp outside. Very cute. Some greeneries. We have little baby Christmas trees for £4.50. And the bottle brush trees for £1.50. And then sprigs of holly for £2.50. That green is not vibing with me though, I have to be honest with you. They uh, have these tea lights. I do apologise about the music, by the way, guys. Um, I just want to kind of narrate as I go around, but I'm battling the volume. I wish they would turn it down a little bit in shops. I sound like a granddad, don't I? But regardless of whether I'm vlogging or not, music does my head in. <laughs> so we have this wooden nativity play for £8. And what have we got here? Glowing Christmas characters. They're cute. Those yeah, little faces. Really sweet. That's £12. I like this. How much is that? Glowing Church for £3. That is very nice. I love the glaze on that. I think a lot of you might like that one. Let me know. Also, these little decorative jars for £4. No idea what you would keep in that, though. I guess. Yeah, no idea actually. <laughs> and we have a glowing tree as well. So these are all battery operated. It says candle holder, but I don't understand how that would hold a candle. Oh, you put it this way and then you hook it. So you pop your candle in there and then the weight of it holds the candle upright. So you might want to use an LED candle for safety with that one. That's very sweet, isn't it? So you can kind of, if you've got some LED candles, you could hang that on your Christmas tree. That is two pounds, I like that. Yeah, there we go. 
those are the lights to pop in them but those are 15 pounds so you'd have to factor that in but i have seen that you can get those on um, amazon i bought mine from ikea actually but i'm not sure if they would be the right size for this that's quite a small little hole isn't it what else have we got the boxes are quite nice those are those are five pounds each i feel like that's quite steep for a box but it's a very nice design actually and mistletoe what do you think about that it's made out of felt can't see the price on that oh here we go is that a price three pounds fifty for the mistletoe a terrarium light for six pounds i've never heard of a terrarium light before we have this tablecloth that's rather sweet isn't it I like the colours on that, simple green. Also these cloth napkins, you get, is that two? For £2.50. We have a serving bowl here for £10 with Santa's belly and boots. More boxes. They are rather nice these, but I feel like the price point's quite high. But I'd have to compare some other shops to see what other places are charging for boxes these days. Uh, three pounds for that one that's a nice design isn't it the great thing about these i guess is that you can reuse them of course some really sweet little santa serving dishes here and we've got a lot of gingerbread men gingerbread people in stores at the moment i've noticed this glass is very sweet you could leave santa his glass of milk with that for two pounds this serving dish is five pounds i'm not sure about the texture on that no not liking it <laughs> this one's more like it that's six pounds there's quite a nice glaze on that one cute little mason jars with the gingerbread people on and cake tins as well i guess these would be nice if you were making um some like biscuits or baking something festive to give them as a gift in we do have baking kits in store as well for 15 pounds each and this is quite cool isn't it a little um rolling pin and the little uh, stampers or oh, you can tell that I don't bake <laughs> those are 10 pounds each they have more of these cuddly friends in store this reminds me of the Kevin the carrot in Aldi kind of like the face on it obviously that's a snowman for five pounds and these little cuddly friends four pounds each that's sweet isn't it larger ones here for seven pounds loads and loads of um, stocking fillers we also have an advent calendar here and um, it's like a cloth one that you I guess hook things onto looks like it has lots of hooks so i'm not sure how that works we also have a, another advent calendar here so i think this one has little drawers or little sections that you can pop small gifts into that one is 12 pounds oh they have a calligraphy set here for five pounds that has the inks the pen and the different nibs i feel like that might be really popular with um some people you know if you wanted to practice um, nice calligraphy, nice um, text, fine liners for six pounds. And then we have some gift vouchers here. This could maybe be a fun gift. So whenever you need care, attention, favor, or just a good foot rub. So those could be a fun little stocking filler for somebody. We also have these magnetic bookmarks that say goals, lists, notes, ideas, and projects for two pounds. I like those. They look quite sophisticated some little pens for somebody and um, again as a stocking filler could be quite nice and a calculator very old school does anybody use a calculator anymore or do we all just use our phones i do like the look of that though it's giving me kind of 90s clueless vibes we have a christmas planner here for any of you that are looking to get organized already that has i'm guessing different sections you can kind of do your lists in there yeah we've got wishes recipes my wishes I love that, just write yourself a list of all your wishes <laughs> and a shopping list. And then we have different uh, notebooks in store. We have a bullet, bullet planner as well. That's got a nice fabric um, fabric cover for eight pounds. A festive bullet planner as well for five pounds. And then we have this photograph album with the nice gold text on it. That's eight pounds. And it says my favorite place is memory lane and oh it's just pages so you'd have to stick photographs in that it's not the one where you can slip the photographs into plastic they have headphones for 12 pounds 
That seems good. And wireless ones for 20. These gloves can be really handy when it's freezing cold. They're the ones that let you use your mobile phone with these three fingers. Lots of tech in store. I'm just gonna whiz over this, but they do have phone covers from one pound, which is really reasonable. And, you know, loads of chargers, that sort of thing for anybody that forgets their charger, loses their charger, always handy. Smartphone TV. That's interesting. Do you just put your, your phone in it to create like a TV effect? I'm not sure. We also have a smartphone holder, like a clip on one for five pounds there. More children's toys and instruments. Here we have a ukulele for 15 pounds. Uh, a little sn snap slap bracelet. Um, dragon, oh, that's cute. So he kind of just clings on. <laughs> I love that. And then we also have a, is this a unicorn? I'm guessing that that, yeah, it turns inside out and then becomes a dragon. Little finger puppets for five pounds. Loads and loads of toys in here. A growing dragon from an egg for five pounds and a unicorn sleep mask for five pounds. Onto the Christmas stationery. So we have these, I've seen these in store before, they're little boxing reindeers and Santas. Those are three pounds each. They have these little furry notebooks. The Santa one is six and also, and this deer one as well for six pounds. We have a red notebook, oh, it's a diary with a lock. So you can write all your secrets in there for five pounds. That's quite cute, this sort of gift box design notebook. Whoops, that is five pounds. That is rather nice. I always think with a notebook, it depends what the lines are like as to how much I want to write in it. If the lines are too heavy, I'm not about it. This looks interesting. We have this box full of little marker pens. I like the way that sits on the desk. And that is uh, 15 pounds. This ball is a bestseller apparently, that is four pounds. Have the different um, balls here. And we also have one of these little basketball sets for five pounds. A projector torch for five pounds. Balloon animals <laughs> for four pounds each. More finger puppets down there for six pounds. Um, these soap bubble swords are three pounds each. Then we have this little chalkboard for four pounds. Loads more little stocking filler gift ideas here. Another lockable diary for six pounds. We have a walking unicorn. Draw a path and the unicorn will follow it. How clever. A remote controlled dragon. Loads of dragons for any, any kids that are into their dragon stuff. This key pen for £1.50. Make your own unicorn costume. That could have been quite fun for Halloween. Same with this um, dragon. That's really sweet and I like the way that um, kids can colour that in. Loads more toys here. I'm going to have to kind of just pan through all of these to give you an overview. Or oh, this is going to be a very, very long vlog. <laughs> but as you can see, we have got loads and loads of different toys in store. This looks like a good one as well, that truck with the cars stacked up on it. Whenever I see those on the motorway, I do flinch. <laughs> I always think they're going to roll off. A little um, train set with a platform as well for £25. I feel like these would be really nice quality gifts. Lots of cuddly toys. Have a sausage dog puzzle. Stacking blocks. A baby recorder for £3.50. Again, good luck to you if you do buy one of those. It's a sound that we all know and I want to say love, but... <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Same with the harmonica. Uh, we also have soap bubbles and it has the little, do you remember these, these little balls at the top where you have to get it into the center of the flower there. Those are one pound. What are these traffic lights then? Four pounds. It's just a baby traffic light to play with maybe. We have like toy uh, vehicles. And we have a little pool table here for 30 pounds. A football game for £25. A 
this is more kind of board games in this section. We have a pizza spill game. Not sure what that entails. That's eight pounds anyway. Um, we have some jigsaw puzzles, four in a row game for, or connect four as I remember it. Is that the same? Um, for five pounds. Loads and loads of kind of miniature snooker, uh, miniature bowling, pool table, football game, all kind of tabletop size. We have a chess set here for £10. That's really good with uh, wooden figures by the looks of things. Oh, another four in a row game here for £3. I feel like that is always a classic, isn't it, that one? A memory game for uh, £10 for that. Uh, bowling, lots more wooden games here. Pick up sticks, that's very old school, isn't it? That's two pounds for that set. They have these mats with the roads on them that I feel like might be really popular. And that's 12 pounds, I feel like that's a good price for one of those. It looks like quite a big one and also um, quite a detailed one too. Uh, well, here are the piggy, piggy, piggy banks, <laughs> as opposed to the um, one that's not a pig. We have loads of sketchbooks in store. These big ones are £10. I think that's a really good price, actually. You get a lot of pages in there. There's 110 sheets and also the ring binder ones for £5 each. Smaller ones here, which will be good for kind of out and about for £4. We have little canvases and loads and loads of paints. These are really sweet, aren't they? I feel like if you did a little painting on that for £2 and then gave it as a gift, that could be a really nice idea. Lots of craft supplies as well. We have the miniature pegs nicer decorations at this time of year. Also the little craft sticks that kids could have fun with or if you're doing any crafting yourself. Um, little stick on gems here, little googly eyes. Oh my goodness, the noise is in this store. <laughs> it's a lot of squeaking. Uh, we have hobby glue. I'm guessing that might be PVA glue for two pounds and glue sticks for one pound 50. Uh, the little storage containers if you want to sort out beads and that sort of thing for four pounds each I, I have paper. used this clay before and that's really good it's hobby clay so it's kind of like the air dry clay and it's four pounds for a decent amount in there make your own bracelets for six pounds i also have these macrame kits for eight pounds i am allergic to macrame as you may know but somebody might really enjoy doing that Oh, this is sweet. This is um, ink pads with milestone cards for the prints. So it looks like you can do little, um, yeah, little footprints and different cards. And then you've got the um, ink pads as well. That could be a nice gift for eight pounds. Color your own mugs for six pounds. And uh, the same with this candle stick for um, five pounds. So paint your own as well. I think pottery paintings become really popular, hasn't it? So I think these might be really popular this year. I decorate your own unicorn as well there for uh, nine pounds. Uh, more craft supplies. We have glue guns for eight pounds and they do the sticks as well. Eight glue sticks for 50p is really good. Another DIY mug here, Christmas tree design. Uh, sew your own Christmas elves for two pounds. Oops. Oh, I like this, this punch needle set. That's very cool. Be good if um, you know anybody that likes their crafts. That is six pounds. I haven't seen these before. These are paint your own nutcrackers. Just trying to think of the price of these usually in the pound shop to compare them. So obviously you can just paint your own ones from the pound shop. I've seen, um, who's done that before? Chelsea Bowen did that really nicely. They've got the acrylic marker pens here. That's good, isn't it? For um, three pounds for all surfaces. I might have to pick those up. I feel like they might be quite handy for Christmas crafting. We have the diaries in store, but I don't like the layout of these. <laughs> Depends what you're after, but these are, I think they're all, um, yeah, you see how it's laid out? That does not work with my brain. But if you did want to do a day at a time and also have a schedule on there and to-do list, it is quite nice, but I like a week to view. 
more stationary. These coloured pencils are quite nice. They're kind of shorter ones and you've got loads of colours in there for £2.50. I like the kind of natural wood design of those. Don't be such... I couldn't read that then, I thought it said arse. <laughs> it says square. Fake it till you make it. Loads of pens. I won't show you all the pens individually because again, we'll be here all day. But if you like a bling pen, Flying Tiger has got your back. These look good, don't they? Markers for calligraphy for £2.50. You have the different nibs on those. I like the look of those. Um, you can see here onto the gift wrap we have loads of ribbon oh we have like bead ribbon that's different for two pounds and big gift bags here for three pounds each oh i like this garland how sweet is that it's like a little um you know like christmas lights design but i feel like that could be quite good if you were doing like a miniature of some sort or even on a baby christmas tree I think that could look really sweet love that i like the um retro design of those have classics like your kind of raffia ribbons, your more traditional ribbons as well. Some sequin ribbon there too. That's six pounds for that set, but you get loads of different um, colours and designs and velvet ones in there. And more down here as well. We have gift tags, gift wrapping tools. You get your scissors, tape and dispenser and an extra tape in there for four pounds. Loads more gift boxes. A few of them are repeating now as we go around the store. We have some pop-up cards here. That's quite a good price for a pop-up card. £2.50. Quite a sweet design on there too. We have all the foil balloon letters for 25p each. I think that's a really good price if you are wanting to spell out somebody's name for a celebration or spell out whatever you wish. <laughs> we have, um, this is like the birthday section here, so all the kind of colorful garlands, um, some novelty headwear, novelty glasses, um, birthday candles, that sort of thing. Sweet little gift bags for £1.50. And lots of different sizes as well. I do like these ones, I've had those previously. I really like the antlers on those. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm dreaming of a red, uh, sorry, I'm dreaming of a white, red and rosé Christmas. That is good fun. I think I might have to pick up a couple of those. I think they're fab. I like this gift bag too, the gingerbread house design. We also have this little um, gingerbread man bag for three pounds. We have these little light boxes for six pounds and larger ones for 12 pounds. These are quite sweet, these little hanging decorations. Those are two pounds each. And we have these garlands as well, which are two pounds. Little um, clapperboards for four pounds. I think a few of the um, toys that we've seen already. This cozy lamp is 10 pounds. Remote controlled flying plane for 40 pounds. This is a projector alarm clock and that is eight pounds. Virtual reality goggles for £12. A toilet basketball set for £12. Bathroom darts, some more of the novelty gifts here. And also this um, toilet roll with crossword in it or a, a to-do list as well for £3. We have a fitness section which has things like dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, massage rollers, yoga mats, and also yoga blocks. No Pink has been incredibly popular this year with the Barbie movie, and we have these Christmas trees in pink for £12. They need fluffing out, but they're quite a decent size as well. And we also have loads of different pink Christmas decorations. I feel like anybody who has enjoyed the Barbie movie and loves the pink vibes would like those. Those are £5 for a pack. We also have these smaller boxes for £2.60 and these string lights for £8. We also have a really um, small Christmas tree here for £8 and they also do a pink wreath as well for £6. These little houses are £16 for four. We have little bottle brush trees are oh, these colours. I feel like those have got Hermione's name all over them. One pound and one pound fifty. Uh, tea light holders for three pounds fifty. 
Look at this plate. <laughs> Is that not straight from the Barbie house? I'm not sure what you would use that for. That is four pounds. We have an advent candle here for five pounds. So, oh, it has the one and the 24, but no numbers in between. <laughs> These candles are four pounds 50. I think Prime might do similar ones to those, uh, probably cheaper too. They have these fluffy throws for £14. I feel like the colours are quite unusual in here, but in a lot of the other shops you wouldn't necessarily get a lilac or a purple one, so it's quite nice that they do experiment with their colours. String lights for £5, and these ones are £10. We have an old school arcade game here for £22. This looks like it has some of the, yeah, quite old school games on there. Not sure if I recognise any of them, but it could be quite fun for anybody that likes their retro stuff. A glitter lamp. Wow, that's really effective, actually. And that is £15. I think that's quite a good price. And I'm guessing, yeah, battery operated for that. Oh, it's changing colour. I like that a lot. This is very sweet, this little metal locker for £12. And this chair is actually jewellery storage. Where does the jewellery go? Is it a box? It's tricky to do this with one hand sometimes. Or do you just, oh, there we go. That is uh, £12. Beauty case here for 18 And the USB mirror for 20 Oh, a cosmetics fridge. If you want to keep your cosmetics chilled, that is £35. I wonder if you could use that for small drinks or whether... I think it's probably a bit too small, isn't it? It looks tiny. These waste bags are very bling for £10 each. Some interesting fashion accessories in Tiger. Bath fizzers, and they have that hair curling kit that I've seen lots of people using. I think they're on, um, is it TikTok or, I'm not sure, but I'm sure they're all similar. They're kind of like these long, long, I don't know what you'd describe them as, they're just long. <laughs> they're six pounds in Tiger, so if you are after one of those, that might be quite a good price point for one of those. Uh, slippers down there for 10 pounds, and yeah, 10 pounds for the poor slippers as well, they're cute. Uh, gift wrapping paper, £6 for three rolls there. A jewellery rack for £8. Then we have uh, wipes, cotton buds, kind of toiletries and things. The hand soap in here is £4. These things are quite popular too, aren't they? These little facial massages. I've never tried one, but I've heard good things. And there's £6 in here, which I think is probably quite a good price point for one of those. I also have these natural like loofah type things and back brushes for four pounds. Loads of hair ties, hair grips, hair brushes from just one pound fifty. Large one up there for three pounds. Uh, travel bottles, oh they're interesting, they're a pump dispenser one. You don't often see a travel bottle with the pump on there for three pounds. Then we have these sets with the different kind of jars for three. That's quite fun. This luggage tag with the googly eyes for £3.50. I also have these squeezy bottles for £4 and a colour coded set for £4 with like a spray. Oh, two with a spray and two with pump dispenser, sorry. So I guess it depends what products you are travelling with as to how helpful that would be to you. Organised chaos in a black bag, sounds about right. A emergency banana box for one pound. Or oh, a carrot sharpener. Who knew? <laughs> In case you want to sharpen your carrots. Nice um, wooden cooking accessories. Cooking accessories, cooking implements. I think I'm losing it at this point. You know when you get to like three quarters of the way around Flying Tiger and yeah, that's the vibe, <laughs> basically. But we are in the cookery section and the price points I think are really good. More baking equipment. That's quite sweet. These um, are nice because they're gold. 
cookie cutters are uh, five pounds for those. And we have a little Santa snack box for two pounds. They have the pet toys, little um, chew toys here, six pounds for that. What else have we got? Hot dog there. A very sweet festive pet collar for four pounds. We have little uh, wings, little harness there with wings on it. And a pink, fa -la -la. can't even say that. <laughs> And the same with the um, dog sweater, they're cute. And the little um, holly and berries design for eight pounds each. Have the classic cleaning slippers, which I have worn many a time. Although I think I've picked them up for much cheaper than 10 pounds for a pair. So oh, they're quite nice thick ones. A pop-up laundry basket, metal hangers. Oh, they're plastic actually. They're quite nice for um, two pounds. These hooks are really handy. I have loads of these around my home and I do use them everywhere. Um, for uh, four for £1.50, really good. And you can just use them in the kitchen, in the garden, bedroom, everywhere. I like these twisty candles for £2 each. We also have packs of dinner candles. You get 10 for £4.50. And an LED candle, oh, that's good, for £3.50. I think that's, um, yeah, good price. That's about what IKEA charge, I think. Loads of pitch frames. I like these gold ones, four pounds and three pounds for the smaller one. And little artificial terrariums, decorative bowls. Oh, a jewelry box. Oh, that's nice with the um, mirror inside. That is eight pounds. Are these tea light holders, five pounds each. This little, oh, it says vase. I thought that was a candle holder. I guess you put stems into there. A humidifier for 15 pounds and uh, 14 pounds for this one. Another cozy lamp, we have lots of battery operated lamps in store. That one's 12. We have a teeny tiny rug here. <laughs> Not sure where you'd put that, that's uh, five pounds. I feel like my um, kittens would enjoy sitting on that though. So yeah, maybe it could be a pet rug. Have a teapot here for 25. It feels really heavy. Oh, that's nice. Let's wine and dine. In here you have a, a nice bottle opener. That's nine pounds. And these little copper mugs for 10 pounds each. A tequila set. <laughs> so you put your salt and your lemon with that for 14 pounds. This is so random. A slumber blanket with sleeves, but this is how it looks. I mean, would you? Let me know, would you? <laughs> I feel like he looks like a stick of rock. A piggy bank with hammer, oh my goodness. So you actually have to smash that. Yeah, wow, £4.50. Oh, this is a perfume spray thing, like a vintage style one. So that is like the Christmas ornament we saw earlier. And we have a jewelry box here. This is very 80s style, isn't it? That blue velvet, and that is £18. A cake stander your dad jokes mug for £1.50. Um, these measuring cups, they're quite nice. Five pounds for a glass one. Uh, lots of storage jars and storage containers. And I feel like the price point on all of these is pretty good. Quite competitive. Uh, cocktail shakers, oh, these are nice. Just a really simple like old school citrus squeezer for three pounds. That's quite nice quality. I like simple glass things like that for the kitchen. Um, then we have these little glasses with the ribbed um, edge on them for one pound each. And a carafe here for four. Little water bottles, um, this is good. I like the stainless steel ones with a screw cap like that. They um, tend to last quite well and they don't leak from my experience. Thermos flask for 12 pounds and thermo cup for uh, five pounds. Nice little wooden chopping board there or like serving board for £3.50. And salt shaker, £1.50. They're quite nice as well, just with the um, metal and then with the glass panel that, so you can see what's inside. And a kitchen roll holder for four, uh, sorry, £6, but I think that's rather nice. I feel like in other shops that would be quite a lot more expensive. Looks quite premium onto the Christmas mugs and they have loads of designs in store. They're all 
at the six pound mark, I think. These ones look like they have been rather popular. Looking at how many still up there. This is like a little candy cane gingerbread house. That is very sweet actually, isn't it? I like that a lot. So that one is a uh, six. I think they're all six. Yeah, you've got like a pink Christmas tree, uh, different colors here. Nice sizes too, actually. That one's rather unusual. I like that. Pink Santa for six pounds. Fair Isle design for a fiver. We have a magic mug. I'm guessing that probably changes color. Maybe the sky changes color on that when it gets hot. Um, quite a cute kind of kitschy design here for five pounds. Same with this one, very kind of kitsch style. We have a reindeer one where you can put your bickies into. Same with this um, Santa mug, you can put your biscuits into Santa's beard. And really cute, aren't they? Six pounds for that one. We have Santa here for six pounds as well. Lots of Christmassy sweets and some old school things like these UFOs for £2.50. Like Christmas chocolates as well. These are ones that you can hang on your tree for £2.50. They have lots of tote bags which can double up as gift bags, I guess. Be quite handy. £3.50. And then this massive bag if you're doing like a lot of uh, Christmas gifts for somebody or you want to transport things, they're quite handy for that. Loads more um, sweets here. Have the little lollies for £1.50, like marshmallow ones. They're quite decorative. Could look really sweet if you were putting like a hamper together. Lollipops for £1 there. And these ones are £2 each. They have these tubs of Christmas cookies for £3.50. That fit. seems like quite a good and um, price point for those. Uh, Heart-shaped cookies for £4. And they also have these gingerbread houses for £4.50. Build your own, I feel like that's a really good price. And they have the different icing as well for £3. These are £2 each. Santa's Hot Cocoa Cafe. So you have all the different toppings for hot chocolates there. More sweets loads and loads of lollies and things like that little mini biscuits ice gem biscuits for three pounds uh, pretzels for one pound fifty and at the tills you can also pick up your batteries for two pounds a pack always handy and something that i often forget so it's nice to see them by the till and we have made it to the end Ooh! and it's getting dark. I've been in there for ages. That did take a little while to get around and show you everything. I hope you found that useful. I hope you could hear me okay. It was quite loud in there in terms of being quite busy and also the music, but yeah, these will be on soon. I'll be bringing you to more shops and more Christmas shopping around Oxford Street to give you an idea of what is in the stores. Um, so do subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos every single week. If you enjoyed this look around Flying Tiger with me and do give this video a thumbs up. I'm off to grab a little coffee. I need a little pit stop. I need to sort my hair out. I need to sort myself out. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.